Hello there folks. This quick video today is going to show uh, the end results of a bunch of programming. Uh, taking a, a red line device to be a Modbus, actually a red line device to be a data concentrator, if you will. And what I have here in the middle, I'm showing an overall picture of what's happening on my layout. I have on the uh, right hand side here, uh, I've got a, a couple of Modbus slaves. I got one right now working. But what I'm doing is I'm taking data from these slaves here, concentrating it in the center device right here, an HMI, if you will, or something. And then I'm also taking that data and porting it out from here as a Modbus slave allowing some SCADA system to pull that device as well. The dilemma that some users have had is when one of these end devices, whether they're uh, Emerson Rock devices or other Modbus slaves or something, when the comms between here and this device uh, get broken or this guy goes offline, the red line device in the middle will continue to propagate the last known values up to the SCADA system, which therefore the SCADA system does not know that, hey, this end device has actually dropped offline. So what I've done here in this example, let me go to the main screen, I've actually written a program in the middle here that uh, you can see it's taking data from the device over here on the right hand side. This is one Modbus slave I've got device here. It's transferring into some local registers in the middle right here. And then it's sending over to on the left hand side, some particular SCADA device that's monitoring that data as well. The problem has been is that when this device on the right hand side drops offline, these devices over here beforehand would hold the last known state, which is not good. So what we've done here is we've actually filled in some uh, comms loss values such that when this device gets disconnected, it will fill in full scale in the tags here and send that over to the mod over to the SCADA device. So I'm going to demonstrate to you here. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the device on the right hand side. Here I go, disconnecting it and notice they go dash lines here fills in these values here and over at the SCADA device sees it as full scale. If I happen to go ahead and plug in that device on the right hand side, go ahead and replug it back in. Notice that instantly, practically instantly, that uh, the values get repolled and they get sent back over to here. If I didn't want to send the full scale value and say I wanted to send say a value of one for instance, if I hit one here, I hit one, just follow me, let me turn that off. And now if I disconnect the device on the right hand side, you can see here that it sends over to the left the number one value and then once I reconnect the Modbus slave instantly it starts to send the values over so kind of a neat little demo uh, that I've written it did a little bit of code work to make this happen but uh, it can be done and uh, it's pretty cool so I mean just go back to full scale here see disconnects boom sends it right across pretty neat there why is this phone going on 13 there we go so uh, go I'm sure that going <laughs> anyway uh, so you can see uh, the values there it works great um, if you want uh, copies of these databases feel free to send me a note I'll be glad to email you email you the databases so you can take a look at them hey thanks a lot have a great day